Hey guys, right here I have a 2004 Renault Valsatis 3 litre V6 DCI Initial. And today I'm going to make a startup and full vehicle tour video of it, show you the features inside and out. So here is the key card. Let's go ahead and start it up first. The Valsatis does have a push button start system. So to start, insert the key card into the slot right here. Put your foot on the brake and press the start button to the left of the steering wheel. The Valsatis uses a hydraulic rack and pinion power steering system. This Valsatis is equipped with the optional leather steering wheel with wood trim at the top. A 5-speed automatic transmission with manual shifting capabilities is the only choice offered on the V6 diesel Valsatis. Rear parking sensors are standard on initial trim. In terms of safety, the Valsatis initial comes with 6 airbags, anti-lock braking system, electronic brake force distribution, brake assist, electronic stability control, traction control, an alarm system, and mobilizer, and isofix child seat anchor points for the outer two rear seats. As usual, let's turn on the hazards, lights, front and rear fog lights, take a look at the engine, and roll down the driver's side window. With the initial trim, buyers get a set of 18-inch Villa d'Est alloy rims with 245-45R18 tyres. Disc brakes are present all round, with the front ones being ventilated while the rear ones are solid. The suspension comprises McPherson struts in front and Renault's unique triangular link setup at the back. The Valsatis is Renault's E-segment executive hatchback that was produced from 2002 until 2009. It was first shown at the 2001 Geneva Motor Show as a successor to the Renault Safran, and the Valsatis was itself replaced by the Renault Latitude in 2010. While the Valsatis was available in both left and right-hand drive configurations for the pre facelift model, when time came to give the model a facelift in 2005, Renault chose not to develop a facelift for the right-hand drive Valsatis. The reason for this was poor sales of the pre facelift Valsatis in right-hand drive markets. The Valsatis shares its platform with the Laguna 2 and the S-Space 4, and thus, it was produced in the same factory in Sandouville, France. As for the name, it was coined from the words of velocity and satisfaction. This large French hatchback was targeted at customers who were modern and less conformist, and was also an attempt to reimagine the idea of a prestige vehicle under French terms. Under the bonnet of this Valsatis is an Isuzu-developed 3-liter, dual of 8 cams, 24 valves, turbocharged V6 diesel engine with common rail direct injection. Codenamed P9X701 by Renault, this engine produces 178 horsepower at 4000 rpm and 350 Nm of torque at 1800 rpm. 0 to 62 miles per hour takes 10 and a half seconds and the top speed is 132 miles per hour. 80 liters is the fuel tank size and the combined fuel consumption for the Valsatis 3.0 V6 DCI 180 automatic is 27 miles per gallon. Carbon dioxide emissions is 232 grams per kilometer, and the Valsatis is a front-wheel drive vehicle. Exterior features of the Valsatis initial include automatic auto-leveling xenon projector headlights, automatic wipers, headlight washer system, front and rear fog lights, indicators on the front fenders, body-colored side mirrors, and silver door handles.
mirror controls, window controls, all of the four windows in this car are fully automatic in both directions, electronic child locks and window locks for the rear doors, storage, more storage right there, together with the speaker right there. Electronic parking brake lever that I'll show you in a minute. Electronic stability program button. This button is for the voice control system, parking sensors, and interior brightness adjustment knob. The driver's seat in this Valsatis initial does get full powered adjustments with all of the controls located right down there. There is a storage drawer located under the driver's seat. Alright, so let's go ahead and see how she rides. As mentioned, this is the electronic parking brake, it is currently engaged. To disengage it, put your foot on the brake, push the button in and pull the lever out. To engage it, simply pull the lever out again. Dual zone automatic climate control system with a separate set of fan speed controls for the rear. But for the automatic climate control system, the controls are located down here. Fan speed, front and rear defrost, air conditioning, passenger side temperature, automatic mode, different modes of button, and the driver side temperature with your recirculation or automatic recirculation buttons. storage and a power outlet, cruise control and speed limiter control activation buttons, electronic central locking. The Valsatis initial comes with an integrated head unit with an in-dash 6 CD changer, navigation and 6 speakers for the sound system. The sound system that this Valsatis has is actually quite good. Now. That display is for the navigation system and to control that display, locate the controls behind the panel here. This wheel is what goes through the display itself. So currently in the main menu, you can access your navigation, return, emergency information, navigation standby, settings, you can change the language, day night color, traffic information, units, volume and all that.
address book, destination, the map. change the um, map view and that's basically it for the radio itself power button volume your six preset stations C track CD load eject CD players right here sound system settings source tune of various other radio buttons. Front quarter windows, power folding side mirrors, cruise control and speed limiter control buttons, Audio controls, wiper controls. If you locate the button at the end of the wiper stalk, you can go through the multi information display located within the instrument cluster. Light and indicator controls. And the steering wheel in this car is tilted and telescopic. You adjust it using this lever right here. front center armrest with storage below there is a power outlet right in there as well auto dimming rear view mirror front reading lights and interior light sun visor for the driver's side does get a vanity mirror and a light Sunglass holder, all right. So, I guess that's it for the startup. We can turn it off right now. And continue with the rest of the tour. Shades for the rear windows, window control, ashtray or storage, speakers, and storage below. The rear seats in this Valsetis do fold, they split 60 40 when folding, and to fold them down, obviously make sure the headrests are all the way down, then grab the seat base. Flip it forward, locate the buttons on the sides of the outer two rear headrests, the one on this side folds down the right seat and the middle seat, while the one on that side folds down the left seat. Just push it, and flip the seat back down. There is also a bit of storage beneath the rear seats.
I did set the driver's seat to a position that I would feel comfortable in. I'm about 5 foot 7, which is about 1.7 meters tall. While there is no room to stretch out my feet underneath the driver's seat, I do get about this much in terms of leg room and about this much in terms of headroom. It is actually quite comfortable back here. There are storage pockets on the front seat backs, rear aircon vents with the aforementioned rear fan speed control. You can also adjust the mood. Central locking buttons for the back and another power outlet below. Rear centre armrest with storage and cup holders. Right above, for both sides at the back are grip handles and hooks. Rear reading lights and interior light. Capless fuel filling system. To open up the rear hatch, go towards the rear hatch itself, locate the Renault badge, push it in, and lift the rear hatch up. Boot space in the Velsetis is 450 litres with the rear seats in place and 1,468 litres with the rear seats folded and the cargo cover removed. On both sides of the boot are lights, and under the boot floor is the vehicle's spare tyre, toolkit and jack. On the cargo cover itself is a sunshade for the rear windscreen. Adjustable headrests, front and rear. storage areas right here and right there speaker window control and the front passenger seat in this Velsetis does get full powered adjustments as well with the same set of adjustments as found on the driver's side IC size glove box, the navigation disc goes in here. Grip handle for the front passenger. 
checking the front passenger's sun visor does get a vanity mirror with a light as well. Alright, so let's start it up with the door closed. Alright, so that's it for the startup and full vehicle tour video of this 2004 Renault Velsetis 3 litre V6 DCI initial. Thanks for watching and goodbye.